Hi, everybody. My name is Rob Power, and I'm an assistant professor here with the Education Department at Cape Breton University. For those of you who may not be familiar with me, my area of specialization is in educational technology integration and instructional design for online teaching and learning. What I'm going to do in uh, this video, uh, this series of videos actually, is uh, walk my way through how I am going to adapt my course syllabus and my existing online Moodle course content from the standard 12-week delivery format that we've used in previous terms to the uh, six-week format that we're going to be using for the new accelerated online BED program over the coming months. Uh, it's much easier for us to take our existing content, which many of us have already uh, fully fleshed out and developed uh, during the uh, transition to online teaching during the COVID-19 pandemic, then it would be to build this content from scratch. So I'm going to walk you through uh, how, to, uh, how to adapt that as quickly and efficiently as possible. I'll also be sharing some resources that you may find useful if you have to develop your course from scratch because uh, there is no existing online content for that. So in this first video, what I'm going to do is focus on my pre-planning. Much easier to have a blueprint or a storyboard in mind, a, a roadmap as to what we need to adapt before we start monkeying around in Moodle and doing that adapting. And because most of us have existing content already, what I'm going to use as my blueprint is just my course syllabus. So I'm going to kill two birds with one stone here in this video. I'm going to adapt my syllabus from the last time that I taught this course in Moodle. And I'm also going to use that as my roadmap or my blueprint because I don't need to develop a, an entirely new course from scratch. It exists. I just need to uh, convert it to a six week format. So I have my old syllabus here in uh, Microsoft Word. I just need to do some updating here. I've highlighted the sections that I need to update. So most of the syllabus is already intact. So I'm just going to change this to winter 2024 because that's the term that we're going to be teaching in. Uh, you'll need to update the date and time of your live class sessions. Obviously, you're not going to have a uh, class uh, in uh, a physical location in a building. So I'm simply going to change this to online via Microsoft Teams. And what I'll do is I will share the link to that in my uh, Moodle course shell so that students have a link to that there. And once I know my teaching schedule, I can adapt my date and time here. The next thing that I want to do is uh, scroll on down to my weekly schedule. I have a blank six week template here. I have my previous 12 week uh, schedule uh, in here. And I want to adapt this to a six week delivery format. Easiest math on this, two weeks down, uh, down to one week. Uh, you might have your um, content uh, organized in different ways. Maybe you have it organized by themes where you could group together one theme per week uh, as opposed to spanning a couple of weeks. But I'm going to assume that we all have our, uh, our schedules delineated by week. So I'm going to adapt this two weeks down to one. So I'm going to take my content from week one here. And I'm just going to copy it over into this block. And then I'm going to take my content for week two and copy that over to this block as well. So I have two weeks worth of content in here. And I can clean this up a little bit if I want. So I can uh, say that this is my course overview, models of technology integration. And I can take this one here and put that up here and eliminate some of the uh, the duplications that are in here. And now I have my readings for the week. Okay, uh, my assignments for the week. I can copy those over as well. And obviously, I'm going to need to uh, go down through this and update the dates. Well, uh, week one ends on the 14th, so I'm going to update my date here for this first assignment to January the 14th, 
2024. So it's really quick and easy for you to, uh, to copy that stuff over and adapt it down. And I'll get the rest of my modules copied over here. I've already got weeks three and four uh, combined in here. Okay, so I'm going to uh, copy these over into week two in uh, my new template. And I'll get my uh, provincial outcomes here from week one and two and copy those in here, just the straight text. And of course, I can remove any duplicates that, uh, that I have in here. And reorder these so that, uh, so that they're all in order. Easy to clean that up afterwards. I'm not going to waste time on that in this video. So that's how you would copy all of that stuff over and uh, compress your stuff down from um, in your schedule from a 12 week to a six week delivery. Uh, so I've got weeks five and six here and I will copy this content over into week three. in my new schedule. And you just go through that process and complete that. The next thing that I'm going to do, I'm not going to waste my time on the entire schedule on here now, uh, just for brevity's sake in this video. The next thing I need to update is my course assessments, my assignments. Uh, obviously, compressing things down to a six-week format from a 12-week format, we don't want to cut out too much of our expectations for our students, but we do want to make it manageable for them. So what I'm going to do is just take a quick look at my number of assessments here and see if that still makes sense for a six-week delivery format. Well, I do want to keep the uh, the weekly activities for them. I have five weekly activities, so that is an even spread. I'm going to keep that for them. Uh, I want them to do the lesson plan. Uh, I want them to do the group presentation. Um, I'm going to eliminate this weekly participation assignment and spread those 15 marks out elsewhere because we're going to be completely online. We're going to have some motivated students in this. I don't think we need to press them to participate. So I'm going to redistribute these marks. So that's 15 marks. Well, I'm going to make my lesson plan assignment worth 25. That takes care of five of the marks. I am going to make my uh, portfolio assignment worth 25 marks. And I'll make the group presentation worth 25 marks. So that now is four major assignments, 25 marks each. I think that's a reasonable distribution for my students. I might have to do a little bit of tweaking on uh, some of these assignment descriptions to match the six week delivery. But I think that that is manageable in here. Maybe you might need to eliminate one of your assignments uh, just to make it more manageable. Okay, let's say for argument's sake, I think that this EdTech Exploration Portfolio is a bit redundant and a bit uh, a bit too much work for my students, considering that I'm getting them to do this portfolio of all of these uh, tech activities in their classes. Okay, well, I will make this just one paper assignment instead of uh, instead of a series of four or five blog posts throughout the term. And I'll get them to pick uh, one technology and describe how they're going to use that to cover off each of the major themes that we cover in the course. So how they can use that technology to help them manage their, their, uh, their class, how are they going to use it to create and distribute resources for their students, how are they going to use it to increase engagement with their students, and how are they going to use that technology to increase collaboration with their students. So basically, uh, four or five blog posts 
down to one blog post or one paper for them and that will be worth 25 percent so that'll be their major written piece for the term and they have their lesson plan a group presentation and all of the techie stuff i'm going to be showing them every week in class they're going to do a quick little in class activity or an out of class activity and that will get them some points for the term i think that that's reasonable you might have to do a little bit more editing so my syllabus is now ready to go other than a few course description uh, tweakings that i might want to do i have my rough plan i'm ready to start working in moodle